What's up guys, Jason Messi here and welcome to my first potential squads and ratings for FIFA 14 and today we're covering Liverpool, I started this a few days ago and there are over 18 cards in this video guys so a like would be massively appreciated. If you want me to carry these on to do more squads make sure to smash 1500 likes and I definitely will continue and if you're looking for cheap and reliable coins check out idigibay.com, the links will be below in the description and finally leave a comment below as to what team you want me to do next. So let's start things off then with the very first player in this Liverpool squad. I'm going to go through the starting 11 first, which I think it will be, and then I'll do around 7 substitutes. So uh, there's a fair few players to get through, um, so I can't go too in-depth them, but I've actually covered most of these in my potential ratings. So if you want to see them, there is a uh, playlist you can check out in the link in the description. So the first player then is going to be Simon Mignolet. This is Liverpool's new number one goalkeeper. Last year on FIFA 13, he was a 76-rated non-rare keeper for Sutherland, and he actually managed to get himself in the most consistent team of the season. Very, very solid season, and he is obviously Rainer's replacement. His FIFA 13 card, or oh, FIFA 14 card, sorry, um, I've made him a 79 rated keeper, and he looks like he'd be very, very solid, with very overall stats, but with 82 diving and 82 reflexes as his key stats. In real life, he signed for about £8 million, and uh, definitely going to be a goalkeeper that, personally, as a Liverpool fan, I think he can step up to the plate. I mean, he's got a lot of potential, and he's still pretty young for a goalkeeper, so obviously, it might take a while to settle in, but I definitely feel he'll uh, fill Rainer's boots perfectly. The second player then is going to be our right back, which is Glenn Johnson. As you can see on the card, I've made him a 79 rated right back. And of course, um, his pace has gone down by one, if I'm correct. And overall, he had a decent season last year. But towards the end, his uh, performances started to lack a lot. And um, as our squad after January was playing a lot better, he was one of the few players that actually dropped off a little bit. Maybe got a bit complacent. Um, we wasn't really playing for anything. But his dribbling seemed sloppy. And his defensive um, duties, as you're saying that, his defensive duties were a lot better last year. It's just um, overall, going forward, he wasn't as good as he used to be um, uh, towards the end part of last season. But definitely, I feel I keep that 79 rating, same as FIFA 13. The third player then is going to be Daniel Lager, which is Liverpool's new vice captain. Was actually confirmed that about three or four days ago now, and I'm very happy about the decision. Barcelona obviously linked with him, and um, I'm hoping that vice uh, captain decision by Brendan Rodgers can make uh, Aga be tempted to stay. I mean, Barcelona, if he ever went there, it'd be a, a great move for him. I wouldn't really mo uh, complain about him going there, to be fair, because it's Barcelona at the end of the day. But nevertheless, on FIFA 13, he was an 83-rated card, and on FIFA 14, I kept him as an 83-rated centre-back. He had a very, very good and consistent year, and he obviously is obviously Liverpool's best defender at this current point of time. And uh, definitely, last season, he linked up very, very well with Carragher at the back, and um, I feel he'll do the same with the next player and be covering so the next centre back is going to be Colo Torre. We just got him on a free a few months ago from Manchester City, and I think it's a very, really clever signing from Rodgers. Last year on FIFA 13, he was an 81 rated centre back. I've downgraded him to an 80 as his game time wasn't that much in Man City, and I feel 80 is probably about right. He's getting along a little bit, but this guy, I've actually upped his pace. This guy is still pretty quick along the ground. I mean, um, his turn of pace is obviously a lot quicker than Carragher's was, and I feel he's a very, very nice signing. Obviously, uh, we've got to pay his wages and stuff, but. For a free transfer, I think it's a very, very clever piece of business. Pretty much a like-for-like -like, uh, swap for Jamie Carragher. The left back then is going to be Jose Enrique, and he looks very, very happy in that picture. Uh, last season, he was very, very solid for us, and um, he's probably one of my favourite defenders we had. Uh, our left back, he was very solid, very, very strong, and um, he does make the occasional mistake, but what defender doesn't? I mean, for, for Enrique, last year, FIFA 13, he was a 79 rated card, and I've actually upped his stats a little bit. His pace up by um, one, and his defend, uh, defending and heading up, I think I've kept around the same. But overall, he's a very, very well-rounded well card, and since January, his uh, performance has been absolute quality, and uh, definitely Definitely a, uh, a player that has pretty upped his game a lot compared to the beginning of the season. Next up, we have got our captain, which is Steven Gerrard. Everyone knows how good he is. On FIFA 13, he was an 84 rated card, and uh, I actually covered him uh, two days ago in potential rating, so obviously not going to go too detailed about his on card stats. But last year, he got in the real life BPL team this season. He got a very good amount of assists and goals, and he was a massive part in the team as usual. He plays a deeper role now, the centre midfield to CDM role, uh, pretty much covering with Lucas, and it it doesn't benefit his attacking game, but his passing has been sublime, hence why I've put it up on FIFA 14. Next up then we have got Lucas, which is Gerard's uh, pretty much partner in crime in midfield. And Lucas is, is one of our unsung heroes. Like, he got a lot of stick when he first joined, it's probably uh, warranted, as Rafa Benitez originally bought him as a centre forward or a cam, and he wasn't really working out too well. Like, at Gremio's previous club, he was doing very, very well. And then uh, I think Rafa decided to put him back a little bit, put him CDM, and Lucas has really, really shone for us there. We have, he may not be the person to get to the goals and assists, but... When this guy isn't playing, there are massive gaps behind our midfield and defence. Um, he pretty much, like, say Aga goes one of his runs forward, he will slot back and go centre-back. Uh, centre and he does it in very, very uh, good fashion as well. Um, he got an injury over the last few seasons, so it could, oh, uh, could counteract his performances a little bit. 
But since he's been back, obviously he hasn't been as good as he was. But I think he'll definitely get back to how he was a few seasons back when he's absolutely unplayable sometimes. Um, against Manchester City uh, in particular a few years ago. Next up, we've got Jordan Henderson. This is one of my favourite players in the full squad. He gets a lot of stick. He costs us a lot of money, but he definitely is one of the most improved players. And um, he can play cam, centre mid or left wing. Very, very all-round card as well. I've moved him from a 74 silver to a 77 centre midfielder. So I think he'd be a very nice card and he'll be, uh, be pretty cheap as well. Next up, we've got Philippe Coutinho. 78 rated I've given him. Um, actually, no, he was 78 rated on FIFA 13, sorry. 81 on FIFA 14, I think it's about right. Since moving to Liverpool in January, he has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, his passing has been great, his creativity, and the Liverpool fans have just grown to love him already. Um, he could be pushing five-star skills, but I don't think that will happen. Four-star skills for now and four-star weak foot. I'm going to round up Philippe Coutinho. And next up, we've got Daniel Sturridge. Uh, this guy will be a massive uh, key player for Liverpool next year, I believe. Um, since uh, joining from since January, sorry, um, him and Coutinho have been absolutely... They've worked some wonders together. He actually got over 10 goals for Liverpool last year since joining from January. And uh, he could be pushing four-star skills, but I think he'll keep the three. And uh, Sturridge, definitely a player that I'm looking forward to seeing when the season starts on Saturday. And finally, we've got Mr. Controversy, that is Luis Suarez. He was an 86-rated card on FIFA 13, 88 I've given him on FIFA 14, as he had an absolutely insane season. He's been told he's not leaving, and um, there's there's rumours every day regarding the Suarez saga, but I believe he'll be a Liverpool player next season. Whether or not he's fully up for it, we'll see, time will tell. Um, obviously, Arsenal are linked with a big, big money move, but I think like if, if the owners are being true to their word and Brendan Rodgers, he will be a Liverpool player next season. But I'm not sure of how much longer, but still, I put him in this team because of that. Onto the subs and I'll start off with Martin Kelly. This guy got a big injury setback uh, last season against Manchester United. And um, I've decided to keep his card around the same. 76 rated, same uh, same old stats pretty much. I've uh, played around with a few like minus one, plus, two, uh, plus one, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but overall, he looks like the same type of card. And uh, this guy is six foot three as well, if I'm correct. And uh, definitely be a player that might not be used much, but he'll still be very, very solid indeed. Next up then is Joe Allen, 78 rated on FIFA 13, 77 on FIFA 14. Good downgrade him because he started off extremely well. Um, the first like six games, he was very, really, very really good in our centre midfield role. But then obviously he start uh, since then he really has dropped off his performances. His short passing is usually his key part of his game, but he couldn't pass for shit. And that's why I've downgraded him. Um, in preseason, though, he's taken up a central attack midfield role. Whether he plays there or not, we'll see in the uh, in the near future uh, next season. Our next player is going to be Luis Alberto. Hey, I've given him a silver rating. He actually got a grade to a 70 in January for Barca B. And uh, he has signed for him Sevilla for around £8 million. Uh, maybe a bit less than that. But basically, um, Alberto, he is a very, very technical player. Very good at passing. And his shooting is very, very good as well. Uh, his passing and shooting have actually upgraded a fair bit. Because um, this guy is, like I said, very, very technical. He's Spanish. Obviously, he's got a good passing. Four-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. And uh, definitely be a... I don't know if he's going to be that good next year, but he might, in, in a few years' time, I definitely rate, I think he'll be a, a nice, nice player to have. And then we've got the man that no one knows where he is, and that is a Sadie. Uh, I've kept his five-star skills, but I've downgraded him to a silver. It's probably a bit harsh. He might be like a 75, 76, but Ruri didn't impress in his first season. Um, he got better in the game time, but when he did play, he didn't do too much. Uh, he didn't do too much wrong either, but his performances weren't up to the standard of getting a starting place. Obviously, like I said, five-star skills, and... Um, he might be forcing his way out, or not, not forcing. He might be looking for a way out of Liverpool. Uh, so whether he's at Liverpool next season, we'll see. And then we've got Raheem Sterling. Um, he was a 74 rated upgrade in January. Um, but I've compared, yeah, I've given him 76. But that is because um, if you compare it to on FIFA 13, the likes of Oxley Chamberlain, Nathan Dyer, and Scott Sinclair all went from a silver to a gold. Uh, some of them are not having great seasons either. So I believe Sterling will be pushing that gold. I'm not being biased on that one. That one, he's a 76 on head to head as well. So I think that one could be possible. And um, in preseason, he's been very, very good. I hope next season he can provide a bigger role at the club, uh, scoring a few more goals and getting a few more assists. Second to last by then, we've got Iago Spas, our new signing from uh, the Spanish league from Celta Vigo. And uh, he does look like a very, very good card. This guy is very, very skillful on the ball. And he has had a good preseason as well. Obviously, can't judge too much on preseason, but Iago Spas uh, definitely be a nice card on FIFA, there, FIFA 14. Our final player then is going to be a kind of Liverpool outcast, and that's Fabio Barini. Again, struck by injuries, and his performances were kind of um, not too great. He did get that goal against uh, Newcastle back in April, but other than that, he didn't really play too well. And um, I really want this guy to, to start proving himself. Like, at the under 21s for Italy, um, he was actually pretty good. Got himself a man of the match card as well. And uh, like I said, I hope he can return to his. Um, he played a very big role at Roma a few seasons back, uh, just before we signed him, by getting 10 goals in Syria, and I hope he can get that again. If he can do that for Liverpool, I'd be over the moon. 
I just forgot to mention that Barini was originally a 77 rated. I've dropped him to 75. Uh, it might be a bit harsh, but it could be a silver as well, so we'll see. But we're coming towards the end of the video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like grain. Like I said, 1,500 uh, likes and I'll carry this series on. This took a ton of effort, so all the likes are appreciated. If you're already following my Twitter, it's at GCIMSE. And uh, leave a comment below as to what players are, uh, or what team, sorry, you want me to do next. And uh, make sure to subscribe for daily FIFA 14 and FIFA 13 content, guys. So I will see you next time. And thank you, thank you for watching this video. Jesus.